I think every player and coach on this team offensively would tell you it was, it was frustrating. I think uh, we expected a better performance there. You know, we preached uh, the little things this week. You know, in, in, a, in a game like this where you're playing a team of this caliber, you know, you've got to play mistake-free football. And, uh, and we didn't do that. You know, we, we had more penalties, I think, in this game than we did in the first two. Part of that comes from the, you know, the level of talent. But we put the ball on the ground a couple times. And we just made too many mistakes early. We got off to a good start. You know, it's, it's fun. We get a touchdown. We're, we're in the ball game. But we've got to focus in, lock in, and, and uh, perform that way the rest of the game. And we just had too many early mistakes to overcome tonight. Hey, Bill, statistically, Alabama had given up some passing yards. Looked like they'd given up some things between the 20s. Did you see anything different from them than you'd seen on their first two games? No. I, I could make excuses, but we, we really didn't. Um, Pressure-wise, it was what we thought. Coverage-wise, it was what we thought. Uh, Front-wise, it was what we thought. I mean, they we went all the way back to 2012 and watched Alabama defense. They're doing the same thing back then. I mean, they're not going to change what they do, and they're good at it. Um, so, no, there were no schematic surprises. You know, we had a couple of deep ball and near misses <coughs> that uh, we have become accustomed to hitting, and uh, we didn't. Um, and, then, and then we had some mistakes and couldn't overcome them. Looked like y'all had some success in spots running Scotty. Yeah, CJ Moore over here. Was a lot of that just having to abandon the run when you got behind. Well, I, I, I don't think we tried to abandon the run. I just, you know, we, we had a little bit of success. See, when you're, when you're balanced and you're throwing the ball down the field well, it spreads the field and it opens up the defense. And, and uh, we felt like we could continue to do that. It was, it was our intent to run the football tonight against Alabama. Coach, what are the teaching? I'm sorry. Yeah, that's fine. What are the teaching points of, of a game like this when you are playing the number one team in the country? Well, it's just what I said earlier. I mean, we 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 preached and harped on the little things. You know, missing. You know, Coach McNeil did an interview earlier in the week, and he said uh, against a team like this, you know, you, you miss a step by three inches. You know, a couple weeks ago, and it might not affect you the same way it does when you play a team of this caliber. And so, little things like that are are, and that's why we're practicing to perform and execute things perfectly all the time. So when you play against the better teams, that's what you fall back on, doing things perfectly. And uh, we're not quite there yet, obviously. And so uh, that, that'll be what we emphasize this week. Did Jordan ever say that he didn't want to leave the game even though it got out of hand?